Hello, fabulous people. This is growth architect Beata Chalette, and I am talking to you today about focus. With what we are seeing right now in politics and the world at large, and how we are, are so many things are vying for our attention, right? I want to give you some pointers on how you can stay focused and not get sucked into the vortex of distractions. So distractions are easy. You know, right now it's like who won the election? What's going on? Where are we at? How is this uh, unfolding? Are there any news yet? We keep checking our news sources constantly. Our phones are set to ping every five seconds and we are always distracted and it's called a FOMA, a fear of missing out. So what I recommend you to do, and I, I literally want you to do that. I want you to go into your phone and go to your settings. And I want you to turn all notifications off, all of them, except the ones that are absolutely critical. Like maybe, you know, your text messages, if you have family or you're in touch with your parents and they're texting you so you can be reached and obviously your phone. But do you really need to get Facebook, WhatsApp, um, Messenger, and all these notifications in real time? Or could you remain focused on what's ahead of you by shutting off these distractions deliberately, right? So I literally went in and I turned off every notification, including the one that shows you if you've gotten, you know, like the red dot on the Facebook or the WhatsApp, where you see if somebody has sent you a message, but, and I get no pings, I get nothing. So when I go on Facebook, I go on Facebook. I still go to much on Facebook, but I do a lot of, you know, interaction on Facebook. And then I get always sucked into the vortex of what are people thinking? So what works to remain focused is to give yourself a discipline and a routine that you follow. So if something is happening as far as current events, then give yourself that time frame as a minute or as two minutes or as five minutes where you go and you check and you interact or you give yourself a 15 minute coffee break in the morning and then you can kind of do whatever you want. Critical for that is to do something very simple. Siri, give me a 15 minute timer. And then Siri will give you a 15 minute timer, 15 minutes and counting. And then when the 15 minutes are up, you turn this off and you go back to your, 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 your tasks. Because what I'm seeing right now, especially with COVID, with the bombardment of, you know, just all this political stuff. And now the election is that we are running constantly in this, um, in this, in this, in this um, distraction mode where we are never really focused on what's ahead of us because we always whiplashed into something different. If you have a schedule and the trick for the schedule is actually put it in the calendar and uh, you know schedule these times for your enjoyment and uh, make sure that that's also in the calendar because time disappears when you don't allocate it to something that is really important to you. So again, distraction shut off, go to your phone, turn it off. There are actually blockers, time blockers you can download for your laptop or your desktop com computer where it only allows you to go in certain times on certain social media things. I probably would need that for like CNN or something like that. And uh, uh, that helps you to get into a better mindset. And in the, in the calendar, right, your calendar needs to be your very best friend. So block your time out to get work done. So tackle it, get it done, address it, and move on to the next task. That's my message for you today in how to remain focused and cut the distractions out by actually cutting the distraction out, by actually putting it in the calendar, and by training yourself to be much more disciplined about what you give your time, what you give your energy, and where you are achieving results, because it is not by watching CNN. So that's my message for you, fabulous people. Hang in there. It's going to work out. It's going to be great. Stay focused on the positive. And I see you again next time. I'm here for you. You need me, reach out. You want to talk, 
reach out. If you have a comment, reach out. If you have a question, reach out. We all in this together. I love you. I adore you all. I see you soon. Bye-bye.